in this video i'm going to show you how to create a book cover like what you see on your screen in photoshop and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you are old here thank you so much for showing up so we are going to look at how to create this book cover in photoshop and these are the resources that i'm going to use so I'll put a link in the description if you want to download these ones and follow suit. And this book is an actual book that was written by one of my friends. So if you are interested in reading, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can purchase it and support her. Now without any further ado, let's jump right into the video and let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to make use of Photoshop 2021, but this should work with any version of Photoshop. First things first, let's go ahead and create a new document. So we go to File, New, and then we are going to create a document. You make sure that your measuring scale is set to pixels, and then you are going to set here 1600, that is 1600 by 2560. So that is going to be, let's make this one 300 resolution. That is going to be the standard size for a half page of a booklet so we are going to click on create and it is going to create something like this for us but you realize that for every book cover you need to have like the left side and then the right side or the front and the back so this is going to be for the front only we need to create something for the back and the spine that is where the test is as well so in order to create that we go to image image size and then we are going to we currently have 1600 over here so let's shift it to the right side that means that we are going to create a space on the left for the other side of the book so we're going to multiply this by 2600 by 2 now for the extension color you can basically give it any color of your choice just that you have to be able to see it and then you have to so let's give it just any color at all and then we go ahead and click ok so it is going to extend our canvas and this is the full size that we're going to use for the design so the next thing we do is we're going to unlock this layer press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we are going to make sure that this white covers the entire part right over here so this place is going to serve as the spine for us so you realize that the white has to be on the very edge of the other side that is the left side and then we are going to have just this place now even to make sure that this works well let me just make a selection here and i'm going to delete this side so that we are going to have like an empty layer so we have one here and one here so this is going to be for the front and this is going to be for the back so we are going to establish a background color that is going to serve as the spine for us so let's select the solid background here and drag it underneath of the whole document so this place is going to serve as the spine area so now we can start working on the foreground so first things first let me just go in here into my resource and then i'm going to drag this is going to be the background i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop so right over here now remember that we are working on the foreground so we can open this up a little bigger like that to cover the entire white space and even more you can just right click and create a clipping mask so that it just falls into the white layer that you have over there so we can just open it up some more like this one right over here so once we have this we can right click on the layer here rasterize it and i don't like the clouds over here so photoshop 2021 gives you the opportunity to change the cloud so i can go to edit and then sky replacement i'm going to replace the sky in this particular um, image the background that we are using because i don't like the clouds in there it has to match with the sunset that beautiful sunset underneath of it okay so we don't like this one let's go to the sunset okay this one right here let's pick that the spectacular one this looks good now we're going to just hit ok and then it basically replaces the sky for us it is that very easy so this is going to be the sky replacement and this is going to be our actual image so we can just select the two of these ones and then we are going to press ctrl g to group them right click and we are going to convert it to a smart object so that it is going to be just one image like the first 
background that we brought in and after that we can go ahead right click and create a clipping mask so that it falls right into the white layer that is the foreground layer so we can right click and rasterize the layer again and then we can start working on this one so you guys just put some adjustments on it the first thing is we're going to apply level so control shift and then l to auto level it and then we are going to press control l again and try to make it a bit so something like that so we can go ahead and click ok from here let's try to make it a little bit darker so control l and then we are going to make it some more darker like this one and then we are good to go so we click ok and the next thing we bring in here is the second background so the book title is on my way to christ so i found this foot from pixels.com or somebody working so i'm going to drag it and drop it inside of photoshop right over here and then i'm going to make sure that i place it somewhere around here i right click and i'm going to create a clipping mask because everything has to fall within the very white this white layer over here so i'm going to right click rasterize the layer i'm going to set the blend mode to soft light like that and i'm going to decrease the opacity way very low so somewhere like this and then i can actually bring it somewhere here looks good and then i can add a layer mask to this one and i can brush the parts that i don't want off so i can brush all of this place off like that now we're done with the background so we can go ahead and add the test so for the front side of the cover i use two basic fonts trajan pro and montserrat i'll leave links in the description if you want to download any of them so the first one is we're going to pick our test tool and then we're going to left click to make a test so we're going to use the trajan pro for the first one so on my way right over there and we are going to select all of that select the color here and change the color to white and click ok so once we have that we can press ctrl t and then we can transform it out a little bit like this and position it somewhere under the foot or the feet is it foot or feet under the guy's feet so right over here so we can let me open this one up here so we can move this up a little bit like that and then we are going to make a duplicate so ctrl j and then drag it over here and then we are going to select all of that and change the test to christ so on my way to christ let me add it to here and let's try to transform it out a little bit okay so once we've made a christ over here we're going to change the font boldness to very bold like that and then we are going to press ctrl t to transform it out so bigger like this it is the center of attraction so it has to be very bigger so we are going to get rid of the eye here and use the tab key and open it up a little bit like that so something like this i'll press ctrl t to retransform it a little bit like that and then we have another image so we go inside of our resource and we have this image of jesus on a cross so we drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then to a separate layer now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the backgrounds over here so we can go for the quick selection tool or the magic one selection tool and then we're going to make a selection over here and we're going to get rid of that so we press ctrl d after the selection and then you can drag it into the file that you are working on now we want to replace that with the eye so we can bring it over here press ctrl t and then you can transform it a little bit like that to make it look nice so somewhere around here and then i can bring it underneath of the on my way so i right click on it go to the blending options and i'm going to choose the color overlay so color overlay here and i'm going to give it a color so to blend with the other colors i'm going to give it white and i'll click ok and ok from here now i don't want this to interact there on my way to so what i can do actually is i can select on my way to here press ctrl t and i'm going to transform it out a little bit to be a bit smaller 
so that is the first part of the test now the next test says my journey to freedom so we can basically make a duplicate of the on my way here and drag it underneath right underneath over here so we bring it on top and then we can edit that so let's edit this to my journey to freedom once we have that we can just basically take our time to position it ctrl t and then we can open this up a little bit and make sure that it is in the middle so something like that and then we can double click on it and change the font to the font called Montserrat so Montserrat and let's use the medium I think the medium looks good or the regular Montserrat bold okay so Montserrat bold now this looks too bold so let's try to change this back to um, regular okay so regular works fine great and we can actually bring these ones down a little bit so that we can have some space over here and then my journey also down a little bit now we're going to make a duplicate of the my journey over here and drag it right underneath of this layer select all of it and then we are going back to trajan pro so you select all of this and then we are going back to trajan pro and we're going to use the regular and that is going to be the name of the author as I said earlier, she's my friend and it's an actual book. So if you want to order it, a link will be in the description to, you know, make an order. So I'm going to paste her name right over here, just like that. And then you can press Ctrl T to transform it if it feels like it is too big for you. And then you make sure that you've centered it very nicely. So that is going to be the front side of our cover. Now we can go ahead and work on the back side. So we're going to select all of these ones and group it and we can call it front now we focus on the background so you see that this is the front we focus on the background which is the other side of the white layer so on top of that we're going to create a solid color again and we are going to fill it with the actual solid color over here so we right click and then we are going to create a clipping mask inside of that one and let's make the underlining solid color quite different so that we can differentiate it from the actual one so something like this looks good and then we can go ahead and click ok now we focus on the back side so over here what we're going to have will be the test about the book and then about the author and then the image so first things first i have my test written in microsoft word over here that is what the author sends to me so i'm going to copy all of that and head over to photoshop now for the back side here i'm going to use the font poppins to make things very clear for me so i'm going to select my test over here and i'm going to go for poppins and then the font point is going to be 10. now you don't just left click and decide to paste the test as we want to make sure that the alignment the justify works so what i can do actually is i can left click to create what we call a text box and then i can actually set it somewhere around here and i'm going to press ctrl v to paste my test so you see how easy this becomes it looks very very easy right so i i'm just going to make sure that i take my time to reposition it to the exact side that i want and then once you use the test box you're going to come across some things like this one so you take your time to just fix it out any parts that gets cut off you just take your time to use the enter and then you can fix it out and any part that does not work well you can just use the backspace to bring it on board as well now i'm going to select this book afterward and i'm going to change that back to trajan pro so that it will match with a uh, caps lock and then i'm going to change the font color here to something like this one something quite like this one okay and i'm going to increase the size of that a little bit to about 13 and i'll hit on enter now after that i'm going to press on enter and then it is going to separate from the book itself or from the other paragraph itself so this is the first one the next one would have to be the about the author where you basically talk about the author so i'm going to use the rectangle tool to separate the two or these two so i'm going to select the rectangle tool and create a very simple rectangle over here very small one like that 
and i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail here and change the color to white so i'll click on ok get rid of this and then i can zoom in some more and try to make it more thin so i can just close it up hit on enter and then we are all good now the next one is about the altar but then we have an image to insert so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the rectangle over here to create another rectangle like a very small one like this one now you have to make sure that these ones align with the edges so that the alignment looks great and then you can push it on top over here if it feels like it is too big for you you can just basically reduce it now inside that we are going to have our image or our picture of the altar so we drag and drop that inside of photoshop now what we do here is we right click and then we create a clipping mask of the picture and then we can use the transformation control so control t to transform it and we can position it right over here so you take your time to basically position it and once you have it to the very place that you want you can go ahead and bring in your test so i'm going to make a duplicate of the book afterward over here Control j to duplicate that i'm going to drag it right here so you see that because of the image we can't just start from this side so i'm going to select all of these ones and get rid of the book afterward and replace that with the about the author right so let's go into our test copy about the author and we are going to replace that with the book afterward or summary so let's select the whole of this one and paste it now we go back into the test from here talina we're going to copy all of that so we select from the rest of the test and then we are going to paste it so we select all of these ones and go to the toggle character and then close up the leading a little bit and then we can drag the test box from here so that is the beauty of using the test box once you start dragging it it automatically starts repositioning itself so you realize here that the test for this particular site are many as compared to the one that we used for the top part so you can basically cut it off at this point so determination and personal and then from growth downwards we can just close it up so let's drag the box to the very end of the box which has her picture so something like this right now you need to make a duplicate of this same test and then you bring it underneath of the image and this particular test so ctrl j to duplicate and then we drag it over here but this time around we can actually start from here so we bring it down a little bit get rid of the altar here so now we need to readjust the whole test and make it continue from where we left so we can expand the test box over here a little bit and then we are going to get rid of all display so personal so it start from let me just find the spot so personal growth and then we are going to get rid of all of this area backspace and then it is going to start from the personal growth so you see that it reads overcome barriers to her personal growth and then we can actually select all of this one and try to make it to be in the same line with the other test so right over here it looks great now you realize from here that the test is supposed to end at people but when you look at the one that we have in photoshop it doesn't end there so it means that the font is too big so we need to reduce it a little bit so let's try about nine and that means that we can actually come over here as well and reduce the whole of this one to nine as well so let's reduce this to nine and hit ok and we can make some adjustments. so you basically have to take your time to make all the correct or the necessary adjustments and basically this is what we currently have now if you are designing for amazon you might want to leave a bit of space over here you can check for their book cover requirements you might need to actually leave a space here that is if you don't have your personal barcode you can leave a space here so that amazon will provide you with a personal barcode and then you can make sure that your spine is also not too big 
for them because that may actually get your book rejected but since this is just a normal flow i actually did the amazon style for hair but this is for the tutorial so once you have this i think that will be it the next thing that we want to do is we want to add the test at the spine and that is going to be the title and then the second title over here so we can borrow this test from the front cover so ctrl j to duplicate that and then we are going to send it right on top of the whole document so right on top here and then we can bring it somewhere around here now let me just close my front like that and then we're going to select all of the on my way to so something like that is going to be what will be on the spine or on my way to christ by talina and then your author name will come back this should work fine so we press ctrl t to transform it right click and then we are going to flip or rotate it clockwise 90 degrees and then we double click on it press ctrl a and then we can center it both horizontally and vertically so that is going to be our spine like i said if you are designing for amazon you need to make sure that it is very small so you can press ctrl t to even transform it some more like this and then you can press ctrl a and reposition it and yes that's basically how you create a very simple book cover design for yourself or for your clients now after you're done with this you can download mockups and use it to represent your works and then you should be able to get something like what i have on the screen right now i'll be making a tutorial on that very soon in case you are watching this in the future check the link that just popped up that'll be the link to how to use the mock-up to style it like this and that's it guys that is how you create a very simple book cover for yourself or for your clients i hope you gained value out of this video and if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch till the very end of this video and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here Bye.